Hi everybody. So today we are going to cover a topic that I get asked quite often by people who've been using Xero for a while and want to start now tidying up any minor errors that they might have made. One of these errors is that they have entered a contact and then they've duplicated that contact because they've made a typo when they've been entering a new transaction for that contact. As we all know, in Xero, all you need for a contact is a name. You don't have to go into any further detail than that. And as such, it's quick to enter, but it's also quick to make a mistake. So with that in mind, we are going to enter a brand new transaction. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go and I'm going to enter a new bill. And this new bill is going to be from ABC Furniture, which we all know uh, sat there right in the demo company. So ABC Furniture, we can see there comes up. So I'm now going to start typing this in and I'm going to make a purposeful error and call them ABC Furniture with a double U. So we have a new contact created. So I'm just going to create a fictitious invoice or what did we buy? Something that's in the nice. So we bought some golf balls. So I'm going to approve that. So we now have this problem that we have a completely incorrect contact, although our transaction is correct. So we're going to go to contacts and we're going to tidy this up. So we're going to go into all contacts. Right, so we are now in contacts and I'm going to search for ABC furniture. And what we find now is we have our correct listing here, and then we have our typo incorrect listing down here with that one invoice on it. So what we want to happen now is we don't want to lose all the work that we've done, even though we've put it against an incorrectly labeled contact. What we want to do is take these contact, uh, these transactions, move them from this incorrect contact onto the correct contact, and at the same time, we want to archive this incorrect contact. So to do that, what we do is we put a tick in the box against the contacts that we no longer want to exist. So that's important because this contact that we've now ticked will in a minute, it will no longer exist. So we go to options, which is here at the top of the list. And then we say merge. Now at this point, if we simply archived, it, would, it wouldn't allow us to do it because we have a transaction against it. So merge. Now we have to tell the software which contacts we want to merge that one into. So this is the one that will be left remaining in our live contacts. And then as simple as that, we click merge. And now we can see that that £4.20 transaction has been pushed across onto the ABC furniture without the typo. And we can see there it is, the one we just created with that one, two, three, four, five, six invoice number. Simple as that. So. Happy Con Marie, your contacts. Bye for now.